Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Get your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. In case you didn't get the memo, Coco Golf has a knack for making haters eat their words. Think back to the 2023 U.S. Open, when golf, after she won her first major title, famously thanked the people who did not believe in her. Though she hasn't been as vocal about it lately, after winning the WTA Finals, she said sticking it to the doubters is part of her game plan now. After beating China's Zhen Chen Wen on Saturday, golf admitted the negative sentiment around her game this summer lit a fire inside of her. She says the criticism got pretty loud. She actually remembers watching the Tennis Channel in the locker room when they showed a graphic pointing out just how bad she had been playing at that time. Well, the 20-year-old decided it was time to turn things around. At this year's U.S. Open, golf lost to Emma Navarro in the quarterfinals, but didn't give up on the season. Instead, she ripped through the end of the season, sprinting to the finish line with titles in Beijing and Riyadh to stake her claim as one of the game's most lethal players on any surface at any time of the year. Coco finishes her season with a 52-16 and 16 record and titles at Auckland, Beijing, and the WTA Finals. But still, when she logs onto social media, she sees the haters. She says she tries to avoid it, but admits sometimes she just gets sucked right into it. But this fall, golf flipped that script. She won 13 of her final 15 matches and has now become the youngest player to win a WTA Finals title in 20 years. To that, we say bravo, Coco. Way to fight through the adversity. So what do you think? Can she keep it up? Do you see big things for Coco in 2025? Let us know your thoughts and we'll see you next time.